Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, artist and paper crafter here on YouTube, and I'm going to show you a very forgiving Copic technique using the Brush Hearts background stamp from Tailored Expressions. I've stamped it in this Hero Arts shadow ink, which actually will work with Copics, and I'm going to take one marker and just cover the whole thing first in one basic color, just choosing a light colored marker because I don't want to lose all of the heart stamping that's there. I did a little testing on this ahead of time to choose my other colors because I wanted this outside color to be my mid-tone color, the, the ink color. And so I've chosen a color that's darker than the ink color. The R59 is darker. The R56 is about a match. And I've, I'm just putting a shadow, kind of a V shape around the bottom and one side and a little tick at the top. And now I'm taking my R56, which is the same color as my ink color or roughly the same color and I'm going to stretch that out and I'm going to leave a shape on this heart and this works with a lot of different hearts so when you're coloring hearts this Valentine's just leave sort of a weird funky peanut shape at the top I'm trying to figure out how to explain what this shape would be and it's it's like a peanut with a bend in the middle peanut sitting on a bench this, this will be a weird uh, set of comments I'm sure I'm going to get from people and what you think that shape might look like. Now I took another red to soften it out and then I went back to the original red and just kind of sketched over top of it very lightly. So I'm keeping a couple shades of that red and, and it's going to give me a little bit more flexibility in making these hearts look like they're all rounded. So now I'm going to just start working on a bunch of hearts all at once. Same thing, I'm going to go with that dark color first. This is the middle color, the color that roughly matches the ink. And I know it may not look like it here on screen, but it did look like it matched pretty well in person. And I'm just adding a little bit more depth to each part of it. And then I'm going in with that R05, which is a more of a tomato red than the other reds to add a little bit more and create more of that peanut color, that, that little peanut shape, and leave that blank area. Because that's gonna give me that roundness, as I said before, and you can sort of see it develop when I show you this in fast motion. And I'm not, as you can see, I'm not letting myself get all hung up on whether or not that light area is blending until now. And it's, it's not even really blending super well. If you saw this card really close up, the blending isn't perfect, but that's okay. It's the overall effect that's gonna be really cool. And then I'm just gonna take my white pen and add just a couple little dots. And at the top of each heart, they don't even have to be consistent. If they are exactly consistent, it's gonna be a little weird. So then I took my R05 and I just filled in another layer in between all of these hearts. And it just started to pull the whole thing together and make it look almost like a piece of pattern paper. Now, you could use a pattern, piece of pattern paper, just buy one if that's what you'd like to do. But this is a really fun way to practice coloring hearts, is to color a whole bunch of them. Now, you could get this stamp set. You could also take other stamps that you have. You have different hearts and different sizes of them and create one. But one of the reasons that I recommend getting a stamp set like this is that they're already together. There's no weird gaps left between them. If you've ever tried to make a whole background like this yourself, it's really awkward trying to make sure you get enough color and enough space put in between everything so that it looks right. They, you know, you always end up with a weird gap and stuff. So this stamp already has all of that worked out for you and all the hearts appropriately sized. So if you're lazy like me, you don't want to deal with all that much of work and would rather spend your time on the coloring, then the stamp is a really good thing. And of course, you can use this for Valentine's Day, but since it doesn't have anything specific about Valentine's, you could use this all year long. You could do these in Easter colors and make them little Easter colored hearts and stuff. You could use them at Christmas time and do it all in red and green. Or, ooh, you could even do it in whites. Make it look like it's all like white snow or little white drops on a window. Oh, that could be really fun. I might have to try that. Maybe I'll try that and put that on Instagram sometime. Who knows whether or not that's going to show up on Instagram today while this video is out. And I love when ideas just come into my little head. So here all I did was add a piece of ribbon. I found a piece of silk ribbon in my stash to tie around it. You can stamp the sentiment on the inside or hang it off a tag on the front. And you've got a really pretty, pretty heart background.
created with your Copic markers. So I hope that was fun. I hope you'll try it and see if it's as forgiving for you as it was for me and try it with other stamp sets as well. There's a few more videos here. If you'd like to see some more, you can click on my face to subscribe if you haven't yet already to get my three videos a week that I put out. And I will see you guys later on. Have a wonderful day.